cup of joe what's up what's up gains nation my name is joseph gains and today we have a special video for you yes guys this is a video so you guys have to get on youtube now i know most of you guys are on spotify most of you guys are on um Audius, but this is a special one for youtube so please do watch um let me share my screen and let's get cracking So it's a special one today because we will be talking about a low cap gem, uh, QRDO credo, why you should buy it, some insider information. We're gonna talk about the FUD and some giveaways. So stick with us till the end. QRDO, what's the FUD? Right now, a lot of uh, people, a lot of users, a lot of haters who probably missed out in Cadena, who probably missed out in Luna, and they're bashing the Luna community. They're spreading fun about Credo because of its tokenomics. They said that the circulating supply is already high and there's going to be more and more supply unlocked within 2022. If demand stays constant or decreases while supply increases, then price would go down. It's bearish for price action. But here's the thing. The executive board already tackled this issue. They have a vesting period over 2022 where the token supply released is spread out through the year and with a plan so that it won't harm the value of the existing tokens. Why? The purpose of the token supply is to foster innovation and improvement in the technological use case of the project, right? It's already been planned out. I mean... What's going on with Credo right now? They're already working with state banks in El Salvador. They're already attempting to do layer one integrations. Um, there are talks about integrations with the Binance Smart Chain, Solana, AVAX, Algorand, and of course, the Luna community, which is why the Lunatics are very, very heavily bullish on QRDO, similar to what they were with um with Cadena. And I'm going to go deeper into the technical analysis of that later on. What else do they have? They have announcements coming in in December and January. And my sources tell me it will be very big, um, especially as Bitcoin attempts a recovery. And hopefully it can pump the price. Basically, Credo is trying to be DeFi 2.0. They're trying to regulate DeFi. They're trying to protect you. Um, they're trying to be the middleman between users and exchanges, right? They're trying to remove the risk of sharding, basically solving problems. But let's go through their website. They have a partnership with MetaMask. What's awesome about Credo is that they serve retail clients and they also serve institutional clients. They're a project or a company for everybody. They're DeFi, they're decentralized which is always good when it comes to money, right? You don't want everything simulating the financial system that we have, banks. Um, they want to work with different layer ones, not just one specific one. It is an ERC-20 right now, but let's not talk about money. Let's talk about technology. Um, like I said, they want to work with Solana. They want to work with AVAX. They want to work with Luna. They want to work with Binance Smart Chain. Um, there's also an update or uh, an announcement with Wu Network coming up. I uh, have to look into that. Um, but basically, if you look into their white paper, their white paper, the, the yellow paper, I skimmed through these. It's based off of the struggles of different centralized exchanges and the struggles with different uh, crypto investors over the last four years, um, maybe even over the last eight years, Relevant to the whole Mt. Gox issue, relevant to everyone losing access to their accounts on on centralized exchanges, relevant to the hacks, similar to the one that Thor Chain experienced earlier in the year. Credos, you know, they just want to solve these issues. Um, you can see little highlights of the roadmaps. You can see that they have secured. Um, over 16 million QRDO uh, in their funding. Um, they've gotten a lot of money and a lot of backing. If you look at their partners, um, it just gives them additional credibility. It's all here in the website and they give you visibility of their progress 
up to quarter two 2021. But I'm telling you guys now, December 2021 and quarter one 2022 is going to be very, very bullish for price action. If you're not interested that much in the technology, well, at least you know that by buying in, you're going to be supporting the technological use case. Right now, it is ranked 325 on CoinGecko. And it's it's a fairly low cap point. It's not the lowest, um, but it's in the same levels as Cadena was earlier on the in the year. Um, the veracities are on these levels too. But to be honest, I'm a big veracity fan and I'm a little bit more bullish in the uh, credo right now. Veracity is one of my biggest bags, and I think I'm gonna have to buy more QRDO, especially in the current dip. Um, the circulating supply, it's a little low compared to the max supply, right? We have 37 million circulating supply with a max supply of 2 billion. Um, some of the projects had similar tokenomics um, that have been successful or at least supply uh, numbers that have been successful, right? Everything starts centralized and they lead on to become um decentralized so they work in a token burn they also have a buyback there's a lot that's going to happen and don't be scared off by the 2 billion supply versus the 37 million circulating supply all right it's all worked into the plans and their executive board has have addressed this Um, but let's look into the short-term price action later on going back to the issue they want to solve right It's the billion dollar problem in crypto right now. And it comes from the phrase, not your keys, not your crypto. So what they want to do is they want to have a decentralized custody on keys to give central exchanges, to give users less risk, less liability, um, and just to make it all work out for everyone, right? I don't want to go too deep into the fundamentals. You can go through the websites and read these articles yourself. They're fairly long. They're fairly detailed. Um, actually they're not that long, but they're a good read. Another thing I like about credo is that they're very transparent. They're a very visible team. And from Anthony Foy, who has 20 years experience, um, in VCs and corporations as an entrepreneur, we have their chief product officer, chief product and technology officer worked in cybersecurity. Um, and then this, there's this guy, Josh Goodboy, who worked for Binance and Huobi. And he's been very, very vocal, very, very easy to reach and um, very, very good in promoting the project. Um, he's been there. He's worked in as a lawyer, actually, um, from the financial markets. They even have crypt- someone in charge of crypto cryptography and someone in charge of regulations. So there's Ben Whitby in charge of regulatory affairs. We can just assume that the project is headed in the right direction. I actually went through the accounts of these people um, just to verify that they are credible, just to verify that they are real people. Um, But yeah, even on Twitter, you'll see that Credo is trending um, because it's already had... 370 tweets today. Earlier, I saw that there was a report that it had about 50 tweets in the, the last hour alone. Um, 470 tweets on Credo. They have 40,000 followers on Twitter. Normally for low caps, if they have over 10,000, 20,000, that's already good. It's nice to see that Credo has over 40,000. And these are very, very active um, members of the community. I see that Crypto Wizards on here. Um, very, very good uh, fundamental analyst. Maybe a bit of TA. He's shielded a lot of huge projects. Uh, Alpha Seekers over here too. So pretty big names in the crypto space. Um, but let's jump into TA. So I have a few charts here um, that were meant to be hidden. But let's get into it anyway. The, the most bullish pattern that I'm seeing from Credo right now is right here. It's the bullish descending wedge pattern, okay? And I think that this alone is already enough to give you an indication of where the price will go. So if, if, you, wanna, if you want to measure the potential height of it, you go from the top to the potential bottom, 
right here. So I'm teaching you guys some TA here. And you look for an expected target. So if we do this motion over here, then we're looking at price targets of around $12, right? So just on this breakout alone, we can assume that QRDO is going to hit $12, which is about a 3x from the current price. So that's very, very bullish. Right now, it's 4.8. Um, over the next couple of days, I am expecting it to consolidate within this area before breaking out, retesting, and exploding. Um, it's not going to be at an instant when it explodes. It's going to be over a couple of days, maybe two weeks. Um, but if it goes anywhere near 4.32, I would be aping in. I would be aping in around as low as 3.7, definitely. And if it goes to 2.7, it probably won't. I will be probably buying with 50% of my portfolio. Yeah, put in a couple. I, I don't want to say how much I have, but I'm going to be putting in a lot of money, right? So my long-term targets for this project, you guys already saw earlier. Um, I don't want to be too bullish or too conservative, but I'm already looking at 14 to $18 uh, dollars in the short term. I think that it's going to finish to levels at around $45 if we remain bullish within quarter two, quarter three of 2022. Um, and that is an easy 10x from a current price. Over the volatility in the weekend, that could even increase it to about a 20x. Now, do I think it's going to take as long as quarter three for that to happen? Um, no. I actually think that because of the current market conditions, if everything remained constant, it would reach quarter three. But because I do expect Bitcoin to reach over $110,000 um, by August to November next year, and obviously it's going to be climbing um, within the next couple of months after a few weeks of consolidation. And I'll post a video on this, on why Bitcoin is bullish, regardless of a dip to 30000 or even... A, or. 28 to 30,000 is the lowest it can go and remain bullish in my eyes. Um, but even 41,000 in the short term, we are still in a bullish uptrend. And I'll explain this in a video. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Um, and we'll have giveaways, guys. I'm trying to grow this into a project. We have something coming up in the future. It's a trading series from $150 weekly investment all the way up to $1 million. We partnered up with Ascendex and a few other corporate sponsors. Hopefully you can be with us. Subscribe, hit that bell button. We have a lot in store for the future. But for now, one thing I want to show you, highlighted by this ring, is this fractal from QRDO. So initially, the reason why we're seeing this big drop here is that this speculative run all all of this, it wasn't backed by any true fundamentals, true use case, or true events. Therefore, we didn't establish logical support. So when the price dropped and Bitcoin pulled it down, we didn't have any heavy levels to support us. And, why, and the reason why consolidation and current levels are good is because after the next pump, any bearish sentiment will lead us or will maintain us in higher levels. Another thing, if we look at the Cadena charts, right? And I prepared this ring for you guys, is that I've seen, I'm seeing some similarities here. Um, Cadena, it had a huge price upon listing. It crashed and then it created a cup and handle pattern right here. Uh, steaming hot cup and handle that led to the price going from $2 20 cents all the way to $28. Of course, if you were subscribed to Team Gains, you would have bought into Cadena at $2.10 and we wrote it up all the way to $27, $28. And we were selling above $20 before the Bitcoin crashed. Me personally, I didn't sell anything. I held all the way up. I'm holding all the way down, buying more because I expect Cadena to reach $100 um, in 2022. But Back to the charts. So we're seeing that cup and handle pattern and we're seeing um, a fake double top that led to the breakout consolidation and explosion. 
if we go back to the credo chart, we're seeing something similar right now, um, which is a sided double top. It's not completed, so it's not a bearish pattern, even though it might go down lower. I do believe that once Bitcoin pulls through and we can complete our consolidation here, we'll have the breakout of our bullish pattern and then complete a cup and handle right here. So to give you guys a better visual, minus all the silly artwork, um, let me get rid of the trends. Let me get rid of this circle. Um, and I will be using the arrow tool, everyone's favorite. So we break out here, we retest. Um, it's not going to be a straight line, but just for an example. And then we expose. So this level right here, 9.6 is going to be the most important key level to break so that we can complete our version of a cup and handle. I know we didn't have much consolidation here, but that's that should count very well for a cup and handle. Again, my targets for credo short term is around 14 to 18. Um, but I do think that we will see QRDO reach price targets of 45 um, in the near future. So that's all I have for you. That's a little background on what Credo is. Um, that's a little bit of technical analysis. And here's the thing. The strongest thing is the community, right? If the community backs the project and they're doing well with marketing, they're doing well with transparency and exposing themselves, the price will follow as long as Bitcoin allows. So where can you buy Credo? It's available on KuCoin. That's true. But guess what, guys? It's also available on a Sendex. So as I mentioned earlier, Team Gains is partnered with a Sendex to start a trading challenge from $150 all the way up to $1 million. And we're giving each and everyone access to all our trades. But it starts with using our referral link. If you sign up with a Sendex using our link, not only will you be getting VIP2 accounts, you'll also be getting $160 in airdrop depending on your activity, as well as a special kicker, access to my personal and private paid groups um, all the way until the end of January, maybe longer if I'm feeling generous. So all you have to do is sign up, send me a message on Twitter or Telegram at Crypto with Joe, and I'll get you sorted out. All right, guys, it's been a wrap for me. Um, subscribe. We'll be having giveaways soon. And I will announce that on Twitter. I might have already. And let's make those gains. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Cup of Joe.